Hello, 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 and welcome to another Round Rouge unit of the Reek. And today we are taking a look at the Maglan Reconnaissance Infantry for Israel. So the Maglan is an Israeli Special Forces Infantry, and their entire purpose is to act and attack behind enemy lines and deep into enemy territory. They were formed in 1986, and honestly, it's really not much information about them, considering they're a rather secret special forces unit. So let's take a moment to talk about the missile that they use. Now, the Spike ATGM is nothing too crazy. It's an ATGM developed by Israelis in the 1980s to block enemy tanks and armored positions. It uses a tanned warhead charge and how it blows up stuff. Now, two cool features about said missile is the anti well, first off, yeah, it's a lot of different versions of it. Seven of them to be precise, or that's what Wikipedia list at least, with each one providing different roles such as short range, long range, fire and forget, guided, uh, flying up top and hitting the tank on the top of the armor. And secondly, this missile has been sold to a lot of different countries, roughly 20 to be precise. Running game is a medium range version, that's what the MR stands for, and it can hit a target from roughly 2,000. 500 meters away, which is roughly accurate for the actual in-game range of the missile. In-game, the Maglan is a 40-point reconnaissance special forces infantry with three weapons available to you. First up, we have the Gillen, which is rather your standard special forces assault rifle. It has the same stats of other special forces assault rifle, 60% accuracy, 355 rate of fire. So it's not a carbine, which is more desirable, but it's still a good weapon. And secondly, we got the Spike Medium Range Missile, with five missiles available to the squad, with a range of ground of 2,450 meters, just 50 meters of real accuracy, 65% accuracy, AP power of 21, and a reload time of five seconds. Overall, a pretty good ATGM for dealing with enemy tanks, so it will have trouble dealing with super heavy tanks such as the BU it only be doing one damage per hit. And finally we got the Negev which is a rather good machine gun. If you take a look at the Miscellany stats, no armor because they're scrissy infantry, 10 HP, very small size, very good optics, 30 km speed, elite training because they're special forces, very good stealth, year restricted to 86, type restricted to motorized airborne and marine decks, and it is also a prototype unit. In battle, Maglan are a well, very powerful reconnaissance infantry, and that's due to they just have a lot of very good stats that run together. They go on ATGM, yeah, decent, 10 HP, hard to hit, good optics so they can see what they shoot, and they also have stealth capability, allowing them to shoot without being seen. And this is what makes them a very powerful infantry unit and well, a lot of people don't like them because they are annoying to deal with and rightfully so but they're not impossible to deal with they're not on this high pedestal where you see them you should run away because there are quite a few counters to dealing with it's reconnaissance squad and the best way to deal with them is with mortars because with mortars you can just shoot them from a far distance without having to be worried about getting shot back at. Now, locating them first is the hard part because they are rather sneaky beaky, so make sure if you're playing against an Israeli player to send some fodder out front to try and bait enemy AT gems. So once you do find them, you just salvo array and try to kill them. If you're inside a town, it's gonna to be a bit more difficult because they do have the defensive bonus, but in the open, which a lot of people like to use them for, they are very easily killable because they have no cover whatsoever you know they are still harder to kill than other like two man atgm squads that you go up against so make sure to bring more mortars than you think you really need also smoke is an effective tactic and realize that it's only 21 ap atgm it's not this crazy powerful atgm still going to kill your light and medium stuff but if you send your heavily armored chali 2 in front to confront a maglan it's only going to do one damage per shot it can't even possibly kill it because they only got five missiles and also they do have low ammunition count so you know count the missiles and once they run out use that to attack but yeah maglans they are very powerful 
And they are very annoying to deal with. We can all admit that. But they're not impossible. They are beatable. If you rag together and use Team Rug, you can counter the Maglands. Or you could just play Israel and use Maglands. That's also a good idea. So I'm going to shut up and leave it at that. Yeah, this has been another Angry Unit of the Reek. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.